Ashley, what's good? I'm so I happy to be here. here. So I'm in the process, or I haven't started because I've been procrastinating of writing a book. Ooh. And so every time I sit down to write, just nothing comes out. I think I'm just like, so stuck on worrying about like are people gonna like I know that I have the gift of writing and it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna enjoy it Mm -hmm. it's just like are other people gonna enjoy it are they gonna buy the book I don't even care if they buy it it's like are they gonna read it Mm. and I just don't know how to start like I'll sit in front of the computer with the document open and nothing comes out you have your computer right now not with me okay (laughs) if it's coach and copy like let's get it (laughs) I definitely get it (laughs) We don't have to do all that now. Do you have a topic in mind? Yeah, so I want to write a story basically about um, just about queer love because I feel like in this space of just like Black, because I'm on book talk and so that's what motivated, motivated me to do it. I talk about Black books and LGBT and BIPOC stories and I don't think there's a lot of like lesbian Black love stories. Mm-hmm. So it's mainly about just a girl who is an artist and she's a singer and she wants to come out and she falls in love with a dancer, but she has to like have a beard and she has to cover it up. So she has to choose whether she wants to keep her record deal and keep this persona or, you know, go with the love and like be herself. So just like, I feel like something like that needs to be told because it's similar to my story. I'm not a singer, but like just choosing yourself and being yourself. How deep do you want to get in this process? (laughs) We can get as deep as we need to. (laughs) So let me actually narrate how it could go. And then you can let me know if you want to go on the journey. So the story you want to write is a story of having to choose between becoming and belonging do I get to be my full self in terms of who I love or Mm -hmm. do I choose my art and my passion and this other part of me and at the root of that is I have to Mm -hmm. I don't get to be all of me I have to pick right and in any whichever one I pick I'm going to lose something there's a reason why you want to tell a story about having to pick and not being able to be your full self and having to lose things because of your choices. So you've had experiences that were really intense Mm -hmm. where you had to shut down parts of yourself because it was better to shut it down and to get the other thing than it was to, to be all of you. And so the process would be, you would connect to some of that early stuff and you would be with that part who said, I can't be her. And you would say, I'm so sorry that you didn't get to be you. I'm so sorry you weren't loved in your full expression. I'm so sorry you weren't celebrated for who you are. I'm so sorry they didn't see your light. But I see your light. Judy, (laughs) you're me cry. That's what it is. Yeah, you're right. Because that's what happens every time you go to write something. Is she yeah. says, what look what happened last time that we tried to be ourselves? Look how much it hurt. Look how much it still hurts. And you want me to sit here and be with this pain day after day, week after week. Then you want me to go and get a publisher. Then you want it to come out and people are going to be saying the same things they said to me then about not being acceptable and about going to hell and how I'm not worth it and I'm not worthy. You want me to sit and do that? You want to put me through that again? Why would I do that? You made it so clear. I didn't never think that I would be telling my story. And that's why I can't get it out because I'm still trying to, I'm still living my story. I'm still trying to tell it and be comfortable with it. Ooh, and I received that. <laughs> and it's hard. Yeah. You, what, what, what we do as creative people, it's not these cakewalks in the park. Mm-hmm. Like you, you are being invited. I believe God is calling you to be much bigger than you've ever been. And it's not an easy thing to answer that call. It's easier to stay small. It's more comfortable. It's safer. 
So that's what you're being, every time you sit down at the computer, you're being, you're being asked to answer a call to be braver than you've ever been, more courageous than you've ever been. So yeah. I think really understanding the magnitude, you're not just writing a book. And you know, there are people right now who are being killed because of who they love. And that really is, it's not theoretical life or death. What? They were alive yesterday and they're not alive today. So this isn't, this isn't, this is serious. So I think when you can connect to how serious what it is that you want to do is, you'll give yourself the compassion to take the time you need to go slowly mm -hmm. and bit by bit and do that process work. Okay. Whew. Thank you for that. I do have a question. So how do you, because I want to take my time with the process, but I also fear the pressure to like, hurry up and get it done. Yeah. Because I feel like I announced it on my, on my book talk and people are like looking like, oh, is it finished? Like, you mm -hmm. know, they're checking in and I don't know what to say. Like, I haven't written anything. <laughs> so it's like, I feel that pressure. Maybe they're not thinking about it, but I feel that pressure outwardly to like get it done fast. But I want to take my time as just now understanding there's parts of me I need to heal as I go through the process before I can even sit down and begin. I can really relate to that. I, I had that same energy around my healing journey where I was mm -hmm. like, I got to heal. I got to heal. I got to heal. Like I went from never seeing a therapist to a two-year trauma healing program because I was like, this is the answer. It's healing. I got to go. Right. And it's been really, really intense. And what I realized for me was that I had experienced what I thought was, I, I, what I saw was like, if I don't heal, it's going to be really bad for me. So I need to do like this. It's life or death. I need to do right. like, this is really important. And so sometimes that urgency will, will be put out there like, oh, my TikTok people are going to be like, that's actually something we have in us. And what I, what I would ask, or yeah, I'd ask you to see if this is resonant for you. Cause this is what would come up for me would be this young part of you that's been waiting for years to be expressed and it's getting harder and harder and harder and harder to not be seen. It's getting harder and harder to cry, like to hide. It's getting, it's like really, really, really uncomfortable. So it's like, please, 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 please hurry up. Please hurry. Like it's just, it's painful mm -hmm. to be in it. And that's actually what's sort of driving that urgency. Yeah. I think that would be the first step would be to connect to like, oh, this per this part of me is really like struggling. And can I be with the amount of pain that's driving the urgency? Like it's coming from a place of like, this really hurts and I need it to stop. And if I write this book, it'll stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I just wanted to get over with <laughs> type thing. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense. Versus it being like, oh, what a beautiful story. And I love to write chapter right. two, you know? And <laughs> Ooh, what's this character's backstory going to be? And let me do research on the city they live in. Like, like that, that's one version of what the creative process is like. And that's what I would want for you. But then yeah. the other version that's just like, and that's because it's being driven by that fear. Yeah. And it's crazy because I have all the backstories, but I think I've been procrastinating of like, let me do all this. And so I'll never have to actually write the book. <laughs> And yeah. I know for me, what's why I love the, the program I'm in and why I love coaching is because there's a reason we didn't feel all those feelings back then. <laughs> it's because yeah. it was too intense. So we right. need to have a process and we ideally need to have people and we need to have community. The more, the better to feel all this stuff. And then when we feel it, we can let it go. But if you know, like right now, if you were to access that stuff, it would be too much you're not going to access it because you're not going to put yourself in a situation to be overwhelmed again. And you know that. Mm -hmm. So you're always yeah. making the intelligent choice. Yeah. Whew. Well, thank you for that. I got to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I definitely have to start healing and I appreciate that and you bringing that to my awareness. You're so healing you now. Much. You raised your hand you're and, right. you asked and you <laughs> cried a little bit in front of 20 plus people. Like that's what <laughs> that is mm -hmm. <laughs> well thank you for holding the space all right of course